My name is Anna. I'm a science teacher and a science coordinator in a primary school in, uh, in Modi'in, which is a small town between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. Uh, and I've been teaching science for about 20 years. My learning scenario is, uh, is called Exercise for Thoughts. It's all about um, learning about uh, uh, bones and muscles and how the body works and uh, how the various parts of the body works and about the importance of uh, doing some exercise. So the students learned about, uh, about uh, the body, how their body works. Uh, some of the activities was to learn really how the, mus how the muscle works, how they can use their body to do all sorts of activities. and. Uh, uh, really how they can use various parts and how they can uh, uh, keep it up best and how they can make the most of their body. The idea came during COVID where uh, everybody was sitting all the time. They were sitting at home uh, in front of their screens and they were sitting at home uh, during having lessons on the computer and they were sitting at home all the time. And uh, we thought that exercise was important and it was important to show them how much how, how much they need to use their body. We started by uh, giving them a small interview about uh, how, uh, how much exercise they did. And uh, they were quite amazed to see how many hours they sit during the, during the day. This topic is important because we know that uh, physical exercise has got a huge impact on our health as uh, adults. And uh, research has shown that uh, um, adults, uh, uh, if adults did exercise when they were young, they're much more likely to do exercise when they're older. So we in included many activities which were, uh, um, which were related to, to, the, to the children's life. For example, one of the sessions I invited an occupational therapist and she explained how exercise has an impact on their learning. Uh, so we started every class with a small exercise and uh, they were really more, they concentrated more. And we explained to them how various exercises can have an impact on their body. So that was, uh, that was one part. Uh, another part is that uh, they, um, the children went to some uh, um, they had to go to a special to a park where they uh, did some exercise and explain which muscle they use and and uh, what part of their body they used and it was fun for them so they they uh, had much more impact on them. So we looked at the curriculum and there was the, the various uh, points that we wanted them to learn. But more than that, and that's what I wanted to say, more than that, it was uh, all sorts of other skills like working in group. Um, be creative, uh, be creative about building something and then be creative afterwards about themselves uh, having to, to pass on the activity to other children. One of the learning scenarios was uh, they had to build, um, they had to attach some of their limbs and do all sorts of activities as if they were invalids. So, for example, they, they had to attach uh, uh, to we, bind, we they had to bind their hands, and it was uh, uh, and they had to do all try to drink where their hand is uh, where they can't fold their fingers. So they had to find to make a device so they could uh, write without because they, they they couldn't hold a, the pencil. So they had to uh, write. Uh, another group had. Um, uh, had their uh, the, uh, arms straight and they had to make a device so that they could drink. So they had to, um, they got all sorts of material and they had to make that, uh, that device for drinking. It was quite fun actually and they had quite, uh, they had good ideas and it was really nice to see them uh, working together. So we, we really took easy materials, e materials which are very easy to find. Uh, we had uh, gloves and uh, cardboard and uh, a piece of wood and sellotape and elastic bands and really, um, really things that you can find everywhere. And uh, that's how they made these things. Really, you could use it from recycling uh, uh, as well, but it was really easy, very easy material. And found that you can do quite a lot of things with uh, recycled material. We find that when they make something, they remember it more. 
So we, um, so I told them they would have to build something, but in order to build, they have to learn about the bones and they have to learn which bone and how the bone connects. So that was the, there we, we put the learning bit and then they, uh, they built um, whatever uh, devices they built. And afterwards, they had to do an activity for the children in kindergarten. Um, the benefit for the students is that because they had fun, they wanted to learn more and they, they enjoyed and they wanted to learn more. I'm sure they remember more. They remember what was special they remember. Uh, and I find that every time I have an activity which they enjoy more, uh, it brings them to want to study science more, which is also an advantage. I also found that in that sort of activity, especially all the things with the hands-on or things which are related to um, activities from outside, you get all the level uh, of the students involved. Like not only those who have higher IQ, but there's some are more creative and some are more, um, some who wouldn't work normally, but it involves everybody. And I think that's a huge advantage of, uh, of that sort of activity. They just asked me, when are we doing, have we got another project like this? When are we doing another project like this? So yes, they, they really loved it. We found that the more they involved in, in their learning, the more they enjoy and the more they remember afterwards. I can say that it's, uh, it's changed my way of teaching because now that I've done it and I've seen how, how involved the students were and how much they liked it, um, it certainly has an impact on me to want to teach the rest of the stuff in that way as well. So uh, just now I started teaching something else and I, yes, I'm looking for parents who, who can come and, 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 and which activity I can do. So it's definitely changed my way of, uh, of teaching. One is uh, try to be as open as you can. Think crazy, like open. There's nothing, nothing too much. Like try to be as open as you can. Um, I think that's one advice I, I would give. Kids love things which are different. They really like it when it's not sitting in the class or when it's doing a different activity. Um, a second advice I would give, don't be scared of the noise and don't be scared that they don't sit and learn, but they, they learn very well if they, uh, if they uh, walk around and if they speak with their friend and they take advice, uh, they learn very well. And uh, so I think that's uh, very important. Um, don't be afraid if something doesn't work out. You can find a, an alternative and nobody knows what you've planned and as long as you stay in, you stay focused on what you want to teach and as long as it's related, it doesn't matter so much what they, in my case, I had a, uh, 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 I had a, um, they called a, uh, a therapist, but I, uh, a speech therapist, I could have had, uh, no, in, sorry. It doesn't matter what, what you have, like in my case, I had an uh, um, occupational therapist, I could have had uh, um, a nurse, I could have had uh, a physiotherapist. It doesn't matter, you can change and you can change around and uh, as long as they, you stay in the topics, and I don't think it matters so much what they learn, as long as you have the core, but, uh, how they related to different fields. Um, I might add more activities even. Um, I find that the more activities they have, the more, although they, I didn't say before, but they also did a model of the hand and uh, with all the parts. Uh, I think I would add more, even more, more hands-on. I think the more, the more outside uh, activities I can add and the more things they can do out, uh, I would do. Uh, really, I would say that the more people you can get from outside, uh, the, more, the more fun it is and the more the children will learn because they'll also, they also will realize that it's something which has got to do with the outside world and that's really part of the project and I think it's very important. And what I want to say is that I found that um, 
after having, uh, having tried to find the parents, I found that it was actually easier than what I thought. And uh, I wrote a general, um, a general note to the parents that whoever is, has got any connection with that, uh, if they could come, and I got quite a few responses. It just didn't work out because of COVID, but um, I find that it's easier than what I thought it was. Mm -hmm.